¿Quién es la mujer afroamericana y afroecuatoriana? La mujer afroamericana ha tenido dificultades para adaptarse a la sociedad, ha tenido que luchar por la igualdad y para ser escuchada. En la actualidad está involucrada en muchos sectores laborales, en el campo de la medicina, en temas del racismo como del sexismo. Las mujeres afroamericanas hoy en día son uno de los grupos más fuertes, caracterizadas por ser decididas y resistentes. By contrast, in Ecuador and Moisne, one of the economic activities with the highest participation of women is agriculture. It's been this way for a very long time. However, in ancient times, the role of women was not taken into account for other important activities, but was rather oriented towards serfdom. Currently, certain people in Ecuador, particularly within Muizne, have tried to change this thinking by strengthening the participation and involvement of women and raising awareness about the importance of gender equality at all levels of society. La mujer afroamericana es fundamental para la vida familiar en Estados Unidos. Se espera que mantenga los valores y la tradición. Si bien la mujer negra gana mucho respeto en el hogar por su abnegación y por ser la columna vertebral de la familia, Desafortunadamente, la sociedad no la ve de esta manera. The Afro-Ecuadorian woman's role in the family is considered the fundamental pillar, not only because of her role as a mother or as her role in the home, but because of the fact that she is now a great working woman, entrepreneur, leader, and idealist. Within the family, she is a symbol of authority and respect. La evolución económica de las mujeres afroamericanas en comparación con sus homólogos masculinos están en desventaja, ya que reciben salarios más bajos, sus puestos de trabajo tienen menor calidad, tienen la probabilidad de estar desempleadas y vivir en comunidades de escasa financiación, soportando la carga de hogares matriarcales. Afro-Ecuadorian women are strongly influenced by the long-term consequences of a patriarchal society, which plays a large role in the confinements of their household economy. This is not to say that working in the home is an easy job. Afro-Ecuadorian women often bear a physical and emotional overload with little to no recognition for their roles. Afro-Ecuadorian women have little power over their ancestral lands. Ecuador as a whole has had to adopt westernized ideals about land, which has resulted in a devaluation of the land and a loss of the ancestral knowledge the land held. Conclusion: Estas son dos realidades de las mujeres negras, diferentes pero iguales a la misma vez. Han atravesado muchas dificultades, se han visto afectadas por la dominación patriarcal, el sexismo y el racismo, pero también se muestra que son un eje fundamental de la vida familiar y un símbolo de lucha, igualdad y prosperidad. Afro-American and Afro-Ecuadorian women have faced similar societal transgressions. For example, they are both harmed by the pervasive and long-lasting effects of patriarchal domination, sexism, and racism. The mechanisms of the patriarchy still overshadow the Afro-Ecuadorian and Afro-American women's ability to have economic freedom in their respective societies. Afro-Ecuadorian and Afro-American women are a foundational backbone of family life and play an integral role in social structure. However, their voices are still being removed or ignored at the local and national level.